Oh, it's also Neo Liquid Fire. Yeah, you know what I used to do is I used to do actually do my homework and um listen to uh, On Ones and Saint Mistresses and um actually Nine Stream in the background. It's kind of funny because I used to play mid, but I used to watch jungle streams, and then I ended up quitting mid and playing jungle. Yeah, I used to watch um Saint Mistress On One and actually Nine a lot, mostly actually Nine, but I don't know. He didn't talk much. So you smite this at 390. But yeah, that was back in the day, like a year ago. I used to watch those streams. I mean, I still watch those streams, but I guess not actually nine. But back then, I used to watch it to get better. So, um, oh shit, I haven't even talked. So yeah, you want to smite that. The um, reason I go for the wolf camp is you can't level 3 off just your buffs alone. So you have to do a camp in between, and then you want to do your red uh, or your second buff right after, like straight after. Uh, auto attack, then Q, and then W. Um, or at least, you don't have to like do that in, in that order, but make sure you're auto attacking before you Q. Um, drag your red a little bit to here so you can isolate it. Um, this is the only buff you can isolate. You can't isolate blue buff unless you kill the little ones. Um, so that's a little tip that probably a lot of Kazakhs don't know. But you can isolate your red buff. To do a little bit, and uh, isolation makes your Q hit for harder. If you don't know what that does. One ward place, so see if you can gank him. I think he knows, yeah, he knows. I'm gonna try to find Fiddle in this jungle. I think if I find Fiddle, I can do work on him. He will drain me, but. Not a huge deal. Oh shit. Once this drain goes off, I'm going in. It probably should go in now. Oh, this is so troll, dude. The white OP. See ya. There's one thing you need to know about Fiddle is this drain sucks at this, uh, at level 1. His drain is garbage at level one. You can't sustain any damage. But at level two, when you're at lo when you're level four fiddle with a level two drain, do not fight a level four fiddle. I'm telling you right now, you will lose unless you can interrupt his drain. But a level three fiddle, you can easily kill. A lot of champions are like that. The level four is a power spike, um, especially for fiddle. Right, I'm gonna go back. Yeah, you do level 2 drain at level 3, that's really that's really smart. Level 2 drain at level 3 is super smart, actually. Because I would actually fall for that. I'd be like, oh, you know, he doesn't have level 2 drain. Let's let's be real here. He probably has his E. But obviously, it's going to make your jungle clear much slower. My hotkeys, I put everything on smartcast. I use 1, 2, 3, 4 for my abilities, but that's just because I used to play World of Warcraft. Um, I use... Like, it's really weird. I use Q, W, E, R for my items. So if I was to pop a health pot right now, I'd be pressing W. But yeah, I don't recommend you follow those. I do recommend, though, that um, you minimize your HUD as much as you can, if you already know like what you're doing, and you increase your minimap size to the max, and it does help a lot. I feel like a, a too big of a HUD actually like hurts you a little bit. Keep farming a little bit, see if you can find um, a little, little bit. Or in the jungle. I'm gonna keep farming. Um, notice I use my W, try to hit everything with my W so I can isolate the big one. Big uh, creep. Yeah, I, must, I failed my auto attack there, but it's all good. And then, again, you click them, see how many wards they place. They place one. He bought a pink ward too, so he wants to kill me at six. The way he's playing right now, it looks like he knows I'm here, but I'm not completely sure. Yeah, he knows I'm here. Uh, kind of sucks. Uh, he wasted a lot of my time, so that was good on him. But yeah, he knew I was there. Like you can tell by his like his uh, movements. Now I gotta be careful here because if Fiddle and Gragas like catch me here, I'll probably die. So. I don't know a little bit. See if I can gank bot now. 
Notice I uh, ward there, and I'm also gonna ward here, so I can see if Fiddle comes down this way. All right. Oh, Fiddle's getting caught out by Shavon. It looks like. Damn. So the re nice, she got him. So the fiddle's really behind right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take his golems and wait for his red to be up. Um, his red should be up at about seven ten. Um, because I think that's the first buff he started. If it's not, then um, he started his blue, which could be a possibility. But generally, you want to start where your bot lane is. So I'm assuming he started his red. Notice there's no minion wave in between these two turrets here, so there's no minion wave in here. If there was, then they would spot me, but they didn't. I hope their red spawns now. My red is up. There's nothing else to counter. I think he might have started blue. We actually have both warded. No, one's gonna spawn. It's blue warders. Okay, there's his red. I was about to say, like, something has to spawn. Oh shit. Did he not notice? He didn't notice. <laughs> he didn't notice me take. What a derp, dude. Oh shit. Hurry, hurry, hurry. He still hasn't noticed. He still hasn't noticed that I'm taking it. <laughs> oh man. Alright. Okay. Alright, whatever. He like literally just walked past me. I'm like, alright. Dude, I better not die to this. I'm going to. I'm about to ult this thing. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, just I added suspense there for you guys. Um, I should have timed his red actually. I'm gonna say about twelve forty five their red around there. T R stands for their red, OB stands for our blue. Five minutes after it dies, you wanna time it. I'm gonna wait for the lizard here. Ten gold, not a big deal. Why evolve E over Q? Um E is really good for ganking and also resetting, so you escape with E as well, so it's really it's just nice. It's nice as a jungler to have that kind of a gap closer. Kind of reminds me of Zach a little bit because like he had such a huge gap closer. And then you max your Q for damage after that, or not max you with all your Q. You never max your E though. Well, I mean you could, but never first. You max your Q first always. You could max your E after Q if you really want to, but I mean, it's not that great. I'm gonna pull it over here just to isolate it. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna time my reds. It's around 14 minute spawn uh, time, but I don't really care for it that much, so. I'm actually gonna put a ward here so I can see if Fiddle walks by and see if I can kill him. We could dive, potentially. Oh, dude. It's so bad of me. I was so greedy. I was thinking I could get him still. So. Damn it, dude. That was so bad of me. I, did, I didn't know Fiddle was here, too. That was really good of Fiddle to stay there. This is a really good counter game. I could have just escaped it. Like, completely ran away. But I went back for Gragas. I was just really greedy. Damn, dude. I shouldn't have went back for Gragas. Oh, well. Now he's doubles. On the plus side, if I kill him, I'll get doubles back. So that's nice. Not much of a plus side, but it's you know, something. Think optimistic. Yeah, that was really bad. Oh shit, dude. Here comes the chat spam. Alright. Gonna do dragon here. Um, I don't think Fiddle has no ult now, so he's not gonna be able to contest this very well. At all. I'm gonna Q Smite at 800. Or 900, that works too. Don't want to die here. Oh, uh, she has a reset on her W. What the hell, team? Uh, sorry, bro. You're on here. Why am I so laggy? I'm dropping like a lot of FPS. Damn dude. That was really bad. The entire team died. I probably should have just left um Lucy in there instead of Wing. I didn't expect the Gragas to have um flash team either. 
Yeah, my, I was hoping my leaf would come out, uh, come back on cooldown there, but oh well. We did get a turret and dragon, but we all four died for it. Like it was five, it was five to zero a second ago. Now it's five five, so that's really bad. Damn, dude. Other game Kazakhs does have trouble sometimes. So using some mana to isolate there to increase my clear. His red should be up in about 35 seconds, so I think I'm actually making a move for it. Pop a health pot. I do have two wards on me, so actually he's going towards top as well, which is really good. Wait, how's Shavana losing to Shun? That's really weird. Should be up in about 10 seconds. I'm gonna take this while I'm at it. It's still not up, even though the icon shows. Because it's, um, the reason it shows is because I didn't fully clear it. Oh. Unless we got a kill. <laughs> got a shutdown, too. That was good. I was hoping to save him there, but. I don't know. I wonder if he'll actually still do it. Holy Annie. On oh, him, huh? I really hope I get a kill here, or I could have just stolen his red. Now I get a kill. No, he's gonna come and kill us all. Run! <laughs> I knew he was going to be there. I already knew he was going to be there after his red, but um, unfortunately Annie got caught out. I'm pretty rich now though, I just gained like, I got three kills or something like that now, so that's really good. Oh, this is going to be super embarrassing, dude. Freaking A, dude. F this game. I hate this game so much. This is the, this is the back of shame right now. This is literally the back of shame. The back of shame, dude. Coward. <laughs> you coward. Should have finished it. Meet again. What? How did that thing not die? Nineteen fifty-two are blue, five minutes after. Dragon is sixteen thirty sixty. See if we can gank bot. Bot seems to not be warded most of the time. That's what I've noticed at least. Or Annie's just doing work, clearing everything. Hmm. Dragus is missing. I just have to flash here. Yeah. To be safe. Look at this guy, he buys blue pot, damn. Going hard. I should go get my red so I can be even in uh level with him. He's actually playing pretty well even though I first blooded him. I think he got like too many free kills, that's what happened. Clear mid real quick. I have a team on so I'll be able to play this pretty fast. Alright, I'm gonna go grab my race and then my red real quick. Now, something good about Kazakhs is he's a very good Baron um, duoer. So we can duo Baron, me and um, Shimana when she gets a bit of armor. And she has enough right now. And we could Baron, we could actually Baron right now, believe it or not. Oh damn, I messed up. Oh, 
Oh shit, she's almost dead actually. I don't know what Gragas is, so I'm just gonna back up for a little bit. Damn, dude, is he gonna get. He's either bot or top. Okay. That's the only reason I backed off there. I didn't know where Gragas was. I knew, um, Phil's ult was down because. He, uh, Shimano was practically dead, so I'm presuming that she got ulted by Fiddle. I mean, it's not really good to assume, but I think it was a safe assumption. <laughs> 10 out of 10, dude. 10 out of 10 on that W right there. I really hope he doesn't all over this wall right now. Oh man, that'd be bad. He flashed, really. Alright, whatever, it got no flash. Did no flash. He actually flashed, uh, cued me there. We, me and Shamana can do Baron, duo it. Yeah, my, my Kha'Zix W's are amazing right now. Oh yeah. And notice when I'm clearing my camps, I'm pressing um, my Hydra and my W at the same time, so it clears all the little ones, and then I press my Q. I don't press my Q right off the bat, because you want to do the isolation damage on it. So jump on it, press your W and your Hydra, and then isolate. So I want to clear your camps. And Shavana. He has ultimate, so he's got. Whatever, I'm gonna help him. You crazy bastards, here we go. Alright, whatever, I'm just gonna get this, dude. I don't even need smite. Was he low? Can I, oh man, I didn't know if he was low or not. Oh, alright. What's up? We got dragon. Did I time dragon six minutes after? Anything about golem, sword, shoot, sword boots, on fire, death, death. No, 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 no. Don't build damage on release. Don't. It's, it's just much better to not um, just go full tank. The only damage items you should build on Elise, in my opinion, are Stork Shoes and Sunfire Cape, if you consider those damage items. Alright, I'm going to go push off top. Again, this is not taking my um, top laner's farm. This is applying pressure. I'm applying pressure top, so if someone's going to be forced to play, uh, come top, and then I'll open up um, opportunities in other places. I'm going to show you, this is what I do on my main. Now this works out like 99% of the time on my main. Now we send people mid to think that we're there. And what ends up happening is someone will tank for me while I do the percent health damage. And it's just such an easy baron. And no one ever suspects a thing. No, it's almost self health now. I do this all the time on my main. It's really it's perfectly executed on my main. A little sloppy right now because it took a long time for it to get here. But um, that's an easy Baron. Twenty minute Baron. Two people. When you have a percent damage hero, you're able to do that. I kind of want to find him by the same time. I'm just gonna get the well. You know, get out, get out, get out, get out. So that's um what I do on my main all the time. Whenever I'm behind, I always make a call like that, and I mostly play Elise and Vi and stuff like that. So we, I do percentile damage on my champions.
And I just get someone with at least 120 armor. He, has a, he actually had a lot more. But, um, he had a, like, he had, like, no health. But it still was, it still worked. Two people up here. I could have ulted for it to do a little bit more damage, but I decided not to. I'm gonna take this. I mean, uh, he's doing well as AD carry, but I just want it. Right now. Yeah, we should fight this now. Reason why you should fight this is even if it turns out bad, it's gonna turn out good because Talon's bot. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but. Oh shit. Oh, Shivana. Played up. There we go. I'm actually gonna do something here. Damn, so tempting. I don't know where Fiddle is. Fiddle could be ulting over the wall. I wish I had a ward right now. Anyone have a ward? Okay, let's just push this. Alright, nice. Alright, I should get the hell out. Oh, this is not good, bro. What did you do to me? Alright, leave. They just leave, leave, leave. What would he stay? I just pushed him in now. There's no reason for Annie to go help him. He's dead. Damn, he should have left me. That was unfortunate. I kind of overstayed. We did get the turret, though. We, we got a lot of that. Like, we got a lot. So it was good. I overstayed though. If you like it, I'll try to refresh the stream. I think it'll be a little bit better. Yeah, it's just flash pop red, it's all good. It's be an easy kill. No? I don't know why he didn't go for that. I'm confused. He's not very strong, he's pretty strong. So, let me talk about why I don't go Brutalizer. Um, a lot of people ask me why I don't go Brutalizer early. Um, the reason for that is, if you go Brutalizer, you're delaying your Lizard. And your Lizard is practically your GP10 item as a jungler. Notice I've gained almost 600 gold from it, and I barely have been farming. My farm is absolutely horrible this game. Like, it's nothing this game. But if I were farming, it'd be giving me a lot more extra gold. Um, but yeah, I'm farming like garbage this game. Like, I should have at least 150 CS, at least. Um, anyways. So I'm delaying my lizard, which is practically a GP ton, by being fine realizer. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, you're losing about 1k gold late game, so it's not a huge deal. But you're also delaying your, um, since you're delaying your lizard, you're also delaying your hydra. So when you delay your hydra, you're pretty much delaying um, a lot of things. Hydra gives you super fast wave jungle clear, uh, much faster than you know regular Kha'zix without a hydra, like bloodthirster or something. And um, on top of that, it's an extra burst to reset. Um, you know, to kill, secure a kill on somebody. So it's just that extra burst. So it's really, really nice to get early. Um, and, uh, what else does it do? Just something else. I explained it earlier in chat. But you really don't want to delay those items. So what I do is I get Brutalizer late game. It's actually my fifth item. So I'll get GA, and then I'll get Black Flavor. And then I'll sell the Lizard. And what'll end up happening is the Lizard will, like, make me about 1.5k gold richer. And I'll sell the Lizard and buy, like, a tank item with that. So I'll buy like a brand new or Sunfire. I'm gonna put a ward here. Let's see if anyone walks by. I was gonna put a ward in this corner. After this win, minion wave walks best. I'm gonna put a ward in that corner. Actually, we could do something here. We'll put a ward there, so I know if someone's coming towards bot lane, um, as I push. So 
looks like Tracy's coming. I'm trying to use my jump. If I had my jump, I'd be chunking her for a lot of damage right now. Is she actually gonna jump on me? What is she gonna do? It's crazy if she does that. So I sent two people bot. This would be a good time to catch someone else out. I'm gonna try to bait his ult here. Like, on ult. Damn, he's not gonna ult. Later. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was just baiting his ult, man. He just went in. He was like, all right, time to go. That was a pretty good escape. I'm not dreaming, thank you so much for subbing, do appreciate it. So, 3308 are blue. Wanna know if I was in Skype with you? I guess you would have. I really wanna um, go back once I have 2700, because that's how much GA costs. So I kind of want to just farm a little bit longer, but it's kind of greedy of me. Like, they could potentially do Baron while I'm farming like this. And I don't want to fight with 2.5k gold in my inventory. Almost there. So notice how, like, I'm effortlessly getting gold right now. Like, effortlessly. This is making me a lot of gold. Um, really fast wave clear, and I already have uh, GA. You know? straight bottom GA. I only got like one kill I think. I didn't, did I even get a kill? I don't know. But it was like really effortlessly, you know what I mean? Um, like yeah, Kez is really really good at this point in the game. The balance relay was streaming, yeah. I go to you know, full time university. I actually have to wake up in like five hours. Probably be my last game. Again, the wave clear is just insane at this point. Notice I don't click my little things to uh, level up, except for evolving, because evolving is a little different. You can't keybind evolving, I don't think. Um, but notice I level my stuff up, um, you know, with my keybinds. I would definitely recommend you guys set that up. Um, don't press the little plus signs, it does like hurt you a lot. And you might find yourself in a position where you hit level 6 during a fight, and you're pressing the plus sign, and it's just too late. Holy damage. Nice. That's pretty good. I think I team fought that pretty well. Um, I did most of the damage there, and they surrendered. That was a pretty good team fight. Um, yeah, what I was saying, don't level up this stuff because if you hit level six and stuff, you're really bad. All right, Juju will play. So that was pretty good. I do think Kaz is, has potential to be a tier one jungler for sure, for sure. So again, most gold again. Um, maybe most damage. Actually, I kind of I didn't participate in too many team fights, so Shimon actually had the most damage because she was poking so much with Shen. But you know, I did have a lot of potential to do a lot of damage. Obviously, you saw how much damage I did late game um, with my items there. So the next item would have been a Black Cleaver, and then I would have sold the Elder Lizard for either um, Banshees, um, a Mercurial, or whatever Mercurial, you know, the thing that builds out a QSS for the Fiddle Fear, or I would have built uh, Randuins or Sunfire, one of those defensive items. I would have sold this eventually. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys.